What's pretty important here is that since the number is all about numbers, and since numbers is all about the number, I guess I should say, um, one of the things that we made you aware of earlier was that word elef. Elef is the word that is the problem in the book. The word elef may mean bands, clans, tribes, families, thousands. When the translators decided to choose the Hebrew word and make it thousands, what they did was created the huge number of people that you have that is millions upon millions here. But internal to the text, there's two problems. Number one, it doesn't match the size of the tabernacle or the size of the camp in order to get the carcass of the animal outside the camp. It's physically impossible to get those carcasses outside uh, a, a, a land mass where there's three to five million people. Okay? Second, the internal argument of the word elef doesn't seem to hold up when it comes to the book of Joshua when they're sending people up to I and they are routed at I. And we looked at that earlier. My point is only this. I can't pass by numbers and say that there's, without saying that there's a problem with the number in numbers. The problem is if I mistranslate a word, I can create a problem and then I have to put out a whole bunch of emails showing how God sent, you know, 46 railway cars of bread every day to feed them in the desert. And we, what we're doing is we're creating a problem and then we're solving the problem. You cannot take people to 12 wells at Elim and, and get them from empty canteens to where all of them water in a single night. You can't pump water out of a hand bucket that fast. So there's a problem with the numbers as they are. And I would just argue that, the, that if you make the term in army units, that is bands instead of thousands, that the number of people that are passing through the wilderness is probably under 100,000, maybe closer to 50,000. And by the way, that's not an easy task. One of the problems we have as Americans is we think if, every, if it's not a huge number, it's not as cool. But I would just remind you that when, God, uh, when, when Jesus spoke and said, Lazarus, come forth, everyone else remained dead. That didn't make it less a miracle. Okay, well, if, if 20 people would have come out, that would have been more resurrection than one. Well, yeah, but you're missing the whole point. God either has the ability to do it with 50,000 or 5 million or 50 million, or he doesn't. But there's a geographical problem also in the text. I've walked every bit of this. You can't fit 5 million people in that desert. They don't fit. So while we're out there bloviating about how we're sure it should be thousands and not bands, just know they can't actually physically stand on the piece of property you gave them, okay? Look, when you come to a conclusion in your biblical study that no longer works in the physical geography of the earth, you might want to reconsider whether or not your translation is done properly, is what I'm saying, okay? It's offensive to some people for me to suggest that some of this narrative has been mistranslated, but I'm just going to tell you, you don't have a solution to it if that's not the case.